Yesterday you said police came here. They did a search warrant. Today your two sons are charged with possession of dogs. For They're fighting. not even charged with that. They're charged with, on the Hillsborough County website, they're charged with baiting, breeding, and owning animals. That's what they're charged with. They're not charged with what i seen on your website. Yeah, I can show you the release. I, I know. Have. Did your, are your sons doing this? No, they're not fighting dogs. There's no fight. The neighbor even came over here to tell them there's no dog fighting going over here, but they wouldn't listen to the neighbor. My daughter is here. She was here when that dog got dropped off that same day, Cabela. I wasn't here, I didn't know anything about this situation with Cabela being on my property until Monday when the police came and showed me the video. That was when I realized Cabela had been on the property for a few minutes. My kids got rid of Cabela because they, I already told them two dogs is enough. We, don't, we can't afford any more dogs. So my son walked the dog away so he could try to get rid of the dog. When did Cabela show up here? I wasn't here, so I can't answer that. It was. From what I understand, it was a it was a Wednesday. I worked those days, Wednesday, Friday, so Saturday, sometime Sunday. Sometime within the past month. I guess I'm not for sure, but it was not here more than probably an hour, right, Sylvia? Yeah, this has kind of spiraled out of control. I know. I mean, and it's, it's it's really spiraled out of control when my kids are involved and they're lying and saying they found dog fighting equipment when they didn't find it. I have evidence log in my hand where no dog fighting equipment has been found in my house, outside my house, or anything. Nothing to do with dog fighting. I mean, what would you want people to know about your sons? That are They're kids? not those type of kids. My kids have experienced trouble in the past. My older son, Kenny Bell, he was getting he was getting ready. He's into boxing, so he's getting ready to start boxing. He had a fight coming up the end of this month with boxing. He was going pro. Answer that. He had he was going pro with boxing. Darnell, he, because the situations with Temple Police Department, my son had got put out of school. So he went and got a GD on his own within a month. He had got a GD. He started working at Checkers within the past month. He was turning his life around. So they wasn't doing anything as far as dog fighting or any of this stuff. Do you know where your dogs, where your son took Cabela? Did they sell her to those teens? That, that part, I'm not, all I know, I seen the, the video I saw that the police showed me. Darnell, which is the youngest, my younger son, he walked the dog to the tracks to avoid, you know, to get rid of the dog or whatever the case may be. He 18, he don't know, pick up the phone, call the dog to animal control or whatever. He don't want to be a part of it. He don't even know where the dog came from. So he walked the dog. They showed a video of him walking the dog, him walking by without, and the dog following him. After that, two more boys are shown taking the dog away again, and that's when everything took place. Darnell is not in that part of the video. He had, any, he had nothing to do with it, with that. I mean, you're saying that these two dogs that were here were your pets? Yes. There were one was Kenny's and one was Darnell's, but since we all live here, they were our pets, yes. And now they're gone. Yes, they son? took they took them. When they came yesterday, they said they was taking the white pit that lived on the other side of the house because he had a I guess the chain was on his neck and it got it in the skin. So he had that. We was taking care of it before us medicating it, but we didn't allow, I don't allow my dogs in the house because I don't want my house to smell like dog whatever. So he was still outside the house. So when they came, they was talking about getting my son for child neglect, Kenny. Darnell had nothing to do with the situation when they first came, as far as no dog fighting, anything. Uh, Kenny was in handcuffs yesterday from 10.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. Not arrested. He didn't get arrested until after 8. They didn't even arrest, charge him until after 8 o'clock. They just detained him, but he was in handcuffs. My family was not allowed to go in the house and anything to that effect because of the waiting on the, I guess, the search warrant or whatever the case may be so they could come in my house. And when they came in my house, they told my house up. They looked through books. They told my attic. They went through the attic. They, everything. They told my house up, but they did not find any dog fighting equipment. Nowhere in my house. Show me the evidence log of what they took and he'll get some video. What is on this evidence log? Some things I'm not going to say, but my Amazon tablet, uh, um, iPad purple cover, uh, um, animal control citation that Kenny got, I don't know what, a couple years ago, um, and a couple more things. Nothing to do with dogs. So you're saying that there's absolutely no evidence that they took that could indicate a dog fighting ring? Yes, um, that's what I'm saying. As a mother, what emotions are running through your head? I, when I first seen it, because I was getting ready to lay down because I didn't get in the rest last night, so I was getting ready to lay down. But I got on the website and seen, I know I'm looking at the different news channel, and I seen what my boys was on there, so I automatically got up and called the news. I'm like, 
and I have anxiety real bad, so my daughter was like, Mom, calm down. So you saw them in the surveillance video, and that's when you called the news station? No, today, I saw them with their picture, on my son's picture there. Yeah. yeah. The mug shots. Yes, their mug shots on there, and their names in them being showing that they was involved in dog fighting. So I'm upset. I'm all type of emotions because we know it's not true. If, I, if it was true, I wouldn't have picked up the phone that fast and called. I called every news channel because I'm going to get my side of the story. I don't want people to think, especially my son who's trying to get in a boxing career, this was the type of life he lived with my son, other son who eventually wants to start a career, but he's working. I don't want them to think this is what type of life we have. Lifestyle. I, live, I work in a nursing home. I don't want them people to think this is what I allow to go on in my house. I do not. This is not what's going on.